Now we step way down in class mm. to Hangar 18, <laughs> another Dumbo movie from Schick <laughs> Sun Classic Pictures, that outfit in Salt Lake City that consistently turns out awful films, films like The Lincoln Conspiracy, Beyond and Back, In Search of Noah's Ark, In Search of Historic Jesus. You know, what will we do without them for Dogs of the Week? <laughs> in their movie, someone is always in search of something, <laughs> but they rarely <laughs> find it. However, their incessant television commercials for their films always promise to solve great mystery. Here's the ad for their latest ripoff, Hangar 18. On October 24th, 1979, a huge metallic disc crashed in the Arizona desert. Military authorities moved what they found to Hangar 18 at a remote Air Force base. Now an incredible new motion picture reveals startling proof that the government has a flying saucer in its possession and the dead bodies of alien pilots. Why have the facts been kept hidden from the American public? Learn the terrifying truth. See Hangar 18, rated PG. Mm, I want to see that. What happened <laughs> October 24th, 1979? Well, does the movie fulfill that promise? Do we get the truth? No way. What we get is a phony baloney, trivial little ripoff of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Hangar 18 only teases us with all its talk about UFOs and outer space aliens. Here's the big scene in the movie where the scientists go on board the captured alien spaceship. Must be another deck. <laughs> There's one of your big discoveries. Creatures from outer space look exactly like Telly Savalas with cat's eyes. And here's the ridiculous payoff at the end of the movie. It turns out that some alien, ancient creatures landed here many thousands of years ago, took a liking to Earth women, I guess they didn't like the men, and impregnated a whole bunch of the women, and they really are our great, 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 great grandparents. You know, sometimes I don't know whether I'm a movie critic or a researcher for the National Enquirer. <laughs> Hangar 18 is just ridiculous. You know, I have to confess something. I am a sucker for science fiction, yeah, and these too. ads are so good. Now, I know that this company has made some pictures that have really disappointed me, and yeah. yet somehow I went into the theater thinking, gee, this is a fascinating subject, and that's their secret. They always take subjects that you have a genuine interest in, and then, yeah. of course, they let you down. But I was hoping against hope that what they found on that ship would be fascinating, and it turns out to be all anticlimactic. You know, in some of the ads, they're saying, of course, they say it's a true story, you know, uh -huh. the truth. At the ads now, they've been appending this little message based on the fiction book. So yeah. they can't even make up their minds whether it's truth or fiction. It's obvious fiction. And I think when you watch this picture, you walk in at the end, you say, that's all there is to the movie? Don't I get more? You're left with a bad taste in your mouth. You know, they have a real formula based on a fictional book and inspired by good motion pictures. And finally, two no votes for Hangar 18, a ridiculous movie about flying saucers that leaves you asking this question. Is there anything more interesting happening in the other 17 hangars? <laughs> I wish I said that. <laughs> That's it for this show.